Hey guys, it's your girl Purely Janice. Welcome to my channel. I already know I'm coming at you guys with another hair video. Today I am going to be trying something new. I am scared, y'all, because this is this is something different. This is something new for me. It's along the same lines of the braids that I did, but it's not exactly the same thing. So I am a little bit nervous, but I love a challenge. So I'm really excited. I don't know the technical term for these, but I'm trying to do twists. I will input a picture of the look that I'm going for. I actually just washed my hair, which is why I'm you know wrapped up in this towel, I'm giving y'all midwife, midwife, housewife vibes, but. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna jump right into the video I'm gonna show you guys all the materials that I have what you guys are gonna need if you want to try this as well So if this sounds like something that's going to interest you go ahead and grab a seat get some headphones Get some popcorn because this may be a little bit lengthy and let's get started <laughs> Basically, um, like I explained before, the, some of the things that you'll need, I have eight bags of the blonde, Biba, I think that's how you say it, and I also got it in 144, so this is like a darker blonde, and I'm going to mix them once I start stretching the hair. For detangling purposes, I have my um, Bruh. vent brush, I forgot what I called this, I have my vent brush. Y'all, this comb is raggedy right now, so I'm going to show y'all this side. The reason I use this comb is for the rat tail. It allows me to have a lot of precision in regards to my part, so I like this middle part here. That's really the only reason I use this. I have my clips. I usually use four, um, but I have a headband and I have some clips wrapped up under this towel. Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner, just to give my hair that last little bit of moisturization before it's tucked away and I'll only be able to spray it down. And then I also have this Eco Styler Gel so I can have that nice sleek finish on each and every one of my braids. And that's about it. I'm going to divide my hair into uh, two sections um, and then I'm gonna show you guys my stretching process. And after we're done stretching all the hair, I'm going to start with it. So my hair is laying out behind me. Just a little disclaimer for this entire process. Make sure that you are in a place where people are not going to mind that there's gonna be hair everywhere until you finish your hair and until you like clean up because this hair gets everywhere. I'm first going to cut the rubber band. Ooh. I'm first gonna cut the rubber band off the hair. As you guys can see, the ends of this hair are very blunt. If we were to braid our hair like this, the ends would be big and bulky. They wouldn't stay in place and it's just it wouldn't look right it's all about those nice tapered ends so what you're gonna do first is either put on a lot of lotion or do what i do and get a glove of any kind and this is because this hair will cut you in this process that we're about to do so to avoid getting my hand sliced a thousand times by this hair i'm just gonna use a glove all right guys so we're finally here Basically, what you're gonna do is choose either the right or the left hand side, slide your hand all the way down to just about the end of the hair and hold it firmly. Then you're going to take about one to two pieces of hair from one hand and bring it to the opposite side. Pull the hair down about as far as the hair in your opposite hand is. Now, you're gonna notice that when you're doing this, the hair that's in the hand um, that you're holding is gonna be really, really tangly. We're gonna fix that later on. So don't worry, if it looks tangly, that means that you're doing it right. So to get the hair back to a manageable state, we're just gonna take pieces from that big bunch that we just stretched and pull it to the opposite side. This is going to detangle the hair and give it, get it back to that place to where we can, you know what, just watch what I'm doing. I can't, watch what I'm doing and that's what you're gonna do. Gently run your fingers through the hair one or two times and then it is officially stretched. Oh, 
but I'm going to finish stretching the rest of my hair. But once I'm done, I will show you guys the finished product and we will go on with the twisting process. Funny story, I started the twists and did horribly like, what in the, it just, no, it just wasn't working out. So I ended up stopping, I cried, we grouped, and then in a couple hours, I started again and came up with these beauties. Turns out I was twisting incorrectly and I will show you guys how to correctly twist your hair in just a second. After I've sectioned off and parted my hair, I just put on my product, get my gel, jam, whatever you want to use. Put Part the hair into two pieces and then you're going to twist the piece on the left or right hand side, whichever side you choose, one way. And then when you get to that other piece, you're going to twist it the opposite way that you twisted the piece that you twisted the first time. I hope that makes sense. So you see that piece that I just twisted? I'm going to pull it under bring the other piece to the side that I was just twisting and twist that piece and then once you're done twisting both of those pieces you're going to twist first and then twist them around each other so you're gonna twist once and then twist again it's very crucial that you do the same twisting motion that I'm doing here in this clip. If you don't twist the hair before you twist the two strands around each other, the twist is going to come out and it's not going to stay intact. I'm just going to show you guys one more time just so that you have it stuck in your head exactly what it should look like when you're attempting these twists. And I did forget to mention that when you're starting at the root of your hair, you want to twist about three to four times or until it feels nice and tight before you start going down and actually finishing the rest of the twist. It really needs to be tight at the root to make sure that that twist stays in place. Now that you guys somewhat see my technique, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these off camera. This right here is the finished product. And now it's time to dip. I'm going to make this pretty quick because it is 2.22 a.m. And I'm so tired I can't even see myself right now. So I probably look a hot mess. In order to seal the ends of our twists, we're going to dip them into some scorching hot water. This allows for our ends to be nice and locked in and it also eliminates that stiffness that the twists usually have due to the cankalon hair and it makes them a lot more flexible. Also, always be sure not to bunch up the hair as soon as it gets out of the water. Dry straight down so that it can keep that nice tapered look. Once we've completed dipping our ends, we're going to go over our twists with a layer of gel and moisturizer. And then we're going to clip our ends and get ready for that final reveal. Oh. <laughs> because of who did not kill that on period and on my first try though but like, like, like ah, i did that thank you guys for being patient with me this was a very long process i hope i documented enough of it so that you guys can try this at home on your own as well thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye